Night Vision versus Thermal, Part 1. When it comes to night fighting, there's rarely a perfect answer, only a series of compromises. Sometimes the compromises are about money and availability, but these compromises are also about limitations of certain families of technology. What's right for you will vary based on your needs, budget, and the exact scenario that might arise. In the first part of this series, I'll be making an argument for why thermal is better than night vision as a place to start. In the next video, I'll make a case for why night vision is better than thermal. And then if this series gains a lot of traction, we'll consider how to integrate both night vision and thermal devices into comprehensive defensive systems, all for airsoft LARPing over hot pockets in the basement, of course. High quality thermal imaging devices can sense microscopic temperature differences, even from a long way off. Using the right thermal scope, devices are so sensitive that you could even pick up a person's handprint or a footprint at an impressive distance away. With night vision, potential threats can easily hide and camouflage themselves past 40, 50 yards away, depending on how dark it is. In contrast, with thermal imaging, these targets would stand out very clear under thermal imaging at extended ranges. Is thermal better than night vision? Well, night vision is more well known. In this first video, I'm going to make the case for why thermal might be a better place to start with on your low light journey. The first thing to consider when looking at night vision versus thermal is that you can get an effective thermal low light setup going for cheaper than a real night vision setup. An entry-level PVS-14 costs between $2,500 and $3,500. Unlike most computers and electronics, analog night vision devices are getting more expensive as time goes on, not cheaper. In contrast, thermal imaging devices are getting better and the devices are getting more affordable. Adding further savings to a thermal rifle scope, thermal scopes don't necessitate a bunch of other gear like night vision does. Using a rifle with NVG requires a NODS compatible optic, a laser aiming module, along with a helmet and some sort of system to mount the night vision to your head. These necessary night vision accessories add between $1,000 and $2,000 to the cost of effectively fielding a rifle and head mounted night vision system. In total, a basic one eye only PVS-14 and a fighting loadout can easily cost between four and $5,000, not counting cost of a rifle and plates. Sure, you could cobble together a low cost digital night vision device like a Sightmark Wraith or a Psyonix Aurora action camera, but those have been out for a little while and I don't see anybody giving up their intensifier tubes. In contrast, you can get an effective thermal rifle scope like the AGM Rattler TS25 with a 384 core for just under two grand right now on Limitless America, easy to find. FYI, if you did call in to Limitless and tell Eric that Spec Ops Gear sent you, you know, they might be able to work with you. Just let them know what you need. Of course, there's many cheaper thermal optics out there that are lower priced than the AGM Rattler 384 core. But for the case of prepared citizen, I'd really consider a 384 core AGM Rattler to be a decent minimum quality to consider. AGM's TS25 384 core is effective out to about 150 yards. It comes with an American Defense quick detach mount right from the factory. Really, it can do a lot of things that you would want to do in a low light scenario. And you could get that for about half the cost of a budget tier PVS-14 laser and helmet mount. Just so you guys know, our AK-47 pattern t-shirts are available now on specopsgear.com. So if you'd like to support the channel, it's kind of a fun way to, uh, you know, let people know where you're at. Anyway, let's get back to it. Unlike night vision, thermal doesn't need any starlight or moonlight to function. Thermal can literally be used in pitch black outside, no visible moon, no stars, no nothing, and a thermal scope will still be able to function at 100% capacity. Night vision, the performance will degrade as starlight and moonlight diminishes. Let's get out in the real world and look at some examples. The guys who go out and shoot things in the dark nearly every night universally prefer thermal optics over night vision devices for hunting. Ranchers and farmers in Texas hunt hogs and coyotes to protect their crops and livestock because their way of life depends 
on successfully putting down harmful pests every night. For this, Thermal's just the king. In the ranch land of Texas and the Midwest, higher-end thermoscopes like the Iray Rico series have become famous for allowing ranchers to make surgical strikes out to 400, even 500 yards away. For what it's worth, you can get into a high-end infrared Rico for about the same price as a mid-priced PVS-14 and laser setup. So, thermal optics offer a really good value for the money when compared to night vision. Let's talk about night vision and thermal, offense versus defense. Thermal imaging's claim to fame has got to be long-range detection. Thermal rifle scopes can be easily mounted for accurate shots in pitch-black environment, and this makes it ideal for a lot of defensive use cases. While well, head-mounted night vision like the DTNVS or the PVS-31 have been made famous for their use in clandestine and spec ops offensive raids, Night vision has a very short detection range compared to thermal. So let's run a hypothetical scenario for a moment. Suppose Milsim LARPer A is tasked with attacking Milsim LARPer B at night. Let's go ahead and arm LARPer A with Gen 3 dual tube setup valued at $8,000, thin film Elbit tubes, white phosphor, and that's coming in at around $8,000 these days before any accessories like lasers, IR illuminators. Now, let's go ahead and arm the Defender, LARPer B, with a budget tier AGM Rattler 384 core scope valued at $2,000. All else being equal, the Defender armed with a thermal optic would be able to detect and potentially engage their opponent armed with night vision from much further away. The guy with the thermal will see the guy with night vision before the guy with night vision sees the guy with the thermal. The fact that thermal imaging can detect threats much further away than night vision gives it a fundamental advantage for defending in low light. If your budget is really limited, you can use a cheap handheld thermal device, and it would get you a lot of low light capability for as little as $500. What's the best use case of thermal? Thermal imaging is absolutely the top dog for low light hunting, passive observation, and detecting warm-blooded creatures at extended ranges. You can see things much further away with a thermal imaging device than you can with a night vision device. It's very reasonable that your number one choice for early detection and extended range and cost effectiveness would always be some type of thermal imaging device.